I don't know what Samuel L. Jackson drives, maybe a Pontiac Aztec, but Nick Fury drives a 97 Corvette. This was sent to the show by Max from Ontario, Canada. Apparently he lives right on the O. Actually, Max is a mystery, like a superhero or a celebrity. And if you're a celebrity and you want to go incognito, the Pontiac Aztec would be a perfect choice for a daily driver because no one's going to look at that damn thing. It burns the eyeballs. The Corvette, on the other hand, is quite attractive and badass, fitting for a superhero. Like Nick Fury, who does something for the government or the Avengers. or I don't even know what he does. I'm still kind of appalled that the Punisher doesn't drive an El Camino, to be honest. Anyway, if you want a Corvette with someone resembling Jedi Master Mace Windu on the hood, here you go. From Maisto and Marvel, it's the Nick Fury 1997 Chevrolet Corvette in the Marvel Diecast Collection. These are fun collectibles for fans of superheroes and little cars. They're not great cars, to be honest. The Maisto stuff is never as good as Hot Wheels, but these paint jobs are great. I like the way they've tried to fit the vehicle to the superhero. In most cases, they succeeded. You will notice that not a single superhero drives a Pontiac Aztec, except for Suckman. Because Suckman sucks, but Nick Fury, he's all right. He was in Pulp Fiction. The best of classic game room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set.